Welcome to Google Maps and today we're going to look at how to import data into our map. My name is Lisa Nowakowski and you can find me on Twitter at Noah Techie. Today we're going to look at how to import data into our maps. So I have two layers going over here. We talked about how to add layers in the last video. I'm going to uncheck mark these so that it just makes it a little bit more clear to see what I'm doing. In order to add data to a map, I choose to add a new layer. From here I'm going to rename my layer and it also gives me the opportunity to import data. So I'm going to choose that option and then this pop-out window appears. I can either upload it from my computer, find it within my Google Drive, or photo album. So I'm going to choose my Google Drive. So here I have a list of capitals of the United States with some other data that's on it. So I'm going to choose it. It turns blue. I select. So now I have a new pop-out window and it asks me to choose the columns to position the place markers or the pins at. So looking at this, I can, I'm going to choose uh, state capitals. So it's going to place a marker on the capitals. And it's going to ask me um, to title my marker. So I can title my marker by state or capitals uh, or date of statehood. I'm going to choose state in this case. And then I'm going to finish. You'll notice that it has a little spinning and it's loading. Give it a second. It will automatically populate your map with what you've asked it to do. I can always go in and change the items around as well. So you'll notice here that it has uniform style, so all of my pins are blue. If I'd like to change that, I can select from here, uniform style. Maybe I'd like to sequence them in numbers. And I can always change this around. Currently it's sequenced in alphabetical order. If I wanted to, I can always um, change the order of this around by simply dragging it. Um, Alaska is now first and Alabama is now second. Going back into that paint roller, if I choose the group place again, I can do individual styles. So that just means, click on the X, I can go into my paint can and choose a color for each one individually. Another option going back into this paint roller is to style it by the data column. So if I'd like to um, style it by state or statehood, date of statehood, I can do that as well. So I'm going to choose state. And here you'll notice, I'm going to click off of that, that it colors each one in an individual color. As I've stated, we can open up the data table. So depending on what you're doing, I'm going to choose my three buttons over here, the three dots. You'll notice the last choice is to open the data table. So if I click on that, it opens my data table and I can rearrange things as necessary. Happy mapping!